Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to this tutorial series. So in this tutorial, we are going to integrate admin template in our Laravel project. And this is the admin template we will integrate in our project. So for it, let's just log in. So I'll just click over here, login. And here we'll give the admin username and the password here. Then click login. So this will take us to the admin dashboard and currently our admin dashboard looks like this. So we're going to integrate this template over here. Okay. So here you can see uh, the URL is slash home. So right now let's just go back to our code. And if we just go to our routes, then web.php. And here, if you go down, here you can see for slash home, we are calling the admin controller index function. So let me just go to the admin controller. We'll go to admin controller and here you can see index function. So for the URL slash home, if the user type is admin, we are sending the user to the admin dot index. So which is, uh, let me just go down, which is this on here, you can see admin folder and inside admin folder, we have index.blade.php. So in order to uh, integrate this template, first of all, we need to download this template. And here you can see a GitHub link over here. So this is the admin template download link this template download link. So I'll give this link in the description. Just check it out. So in order to download this template, here you can see the code option. Just click on code and here you can see download zip option. So we we'll click on download zip and here you can see it's downloaded. So right now, let's just go inside the admin template. So here you can see this is a zip file. So first of all, let me just cut it from here, control A. And we will paste it, uh, let me just go to the new volume D or F, let's say. So on here, we are going to paste it on V. So there you can see, this is a zip file. So first of all, we need to extract this. So I'll just right click over here. And then here you can see extract all option. So we'll click on extract all. And we'll extract it on new volume F. So right now click extract. So here you can see it is extracting the zip file and the extract is complete. So right now let's just go inside and here you can see we have some folder for CSS and some HTML file. So every template starts with index.html. So let me just double click over here. And there you can see this is the template that we just downloaded right now. So right now what we need to do is that uh, first of all, we need to copy all those files and folders from here and we need to keep it in our project public folder. Okay. So right now, let me just copy everything from here except the readme file. So control C and what we'll do is that we'll go to our project, Laravel project and here you can see the public folder. We will go inside the public folder and here we will create a folder for AdWin. So We'll just right click over here and then uh, we'll click over here new and folder and we'll name the folder is admin. So here you can see the folder is admin and inside this admin folder we're going to paste all those files and folder. Okay, so paste it over here. So right now let me just go to the code editor and uh, here let me just go in it at the top. Here you can see in the public folder, we have a admin folder and inside that admin folder, we have all the CSS, JS file and the HTML files as well. So here you can see index.html. What we'll do is that we'll go inside the index.html and we're going to copy everything from here, control A, control C. And after that, we'll go to our resources, resources and inside resources, we have views. And inside views, we have admin, then index.blade.php. So we will go over here, index.blade.php, and whatever file or whatever code we just copied from the index.html, we paste it over here. Okay. So right now, we'll just remove everything from here and paste the code over here. Save it. And let's go back to our browser. And right now, if we just refresh our admin login page, let me just refresh. And there you can see 
the template is over here but the css is not working and there is a reason behind it and for it what you need to is that we'll go back to our code and we'll go at the top and here you can see in the link uh, in the h step you can see vendor slash bootstrap slash css slash something so the reason is here we keep all the CSS file and the image file in the public admin folder. So right now what we need to do is that in the href we need to mention admin slash like this. And there is one more thing we need to do is that uh, let me just give to second bracket over here. And then we'll say here as said then to first bracket then to single quotation. And let me just cut this from here, control X, and we'll paste it over here. So this is the proper way to write it. So right now, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write this asset admin slash for every href over here. So let me just select this. Let me give to second bracket. Then we'll say here, asset to first bracket, then to single quotation, and inside it, here let me just cut it control x control p and here we're going to set admin slash like this so let me just do it for each file so right now let me just select every href from here href then href and first of all let me give to second bracket then i'll say here as said then a first bracket a single quotation then we we'll say here admin slash and after this we'll go at the end then let me just select again here then here here and here i'll give a single quotation then a first bracket then to second bracket like this and here you can see this is a uh, http so for it we do not need to give any asset admin slash okay so right now what we need to do is that we need to go down and we again need to do the same thing over here for the skip as well so it will just select all those sorts then we'll give to second bracket then we'll say here asset to first bracket or just a first bracket first then we'll give a single position then we'll say here admin slash uh, let me select at the end here and here so here first we'll give a single quotation then first bracket and then do second bracket like this so first of all we need to say asset to first bracket admin slash okay like this so let's save it right now and after that if we just refresh our browser over here there you can see all the design over here working properly and here you can see the image is missing for the Mark Stephen, the reason is we also need to mention the asset admin for this image as well. So let's just do that part as well. Let me just go back and uh, let me just go at the top. Let me go down. Okay, let me just uh, see the name is Mark Stephen. So I'll just search it over here. Control F. Mark Stephen. Here you can see. So here you can see the image source. So I'll just see here admin slash. So this will work as well save then refresh and there you can see we have the image so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to separate each section of our code like we separate the uh, for example we will separate the header section then the sidebar section and the body section and also the css part and footer part as well okay so let's go back and let me just go at the top and here what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to first of all cut the css code so let me just cut it from here here you can see we'll only cut the header section code from here so control a and right now if we save it then if we now refresh here the css on all so let's go back and and in the header we'll see here at the end of include to first bracket single quotation we say here uh, admin dot css so we'll create a file css.bed.php in the admin folder so right now 
uh, here you can see the admin folder i'll just right click on the admin folder then click new file and i'll say here css dot let dot php control s and save so inside this css dot blade dot php we paste the header section code that we just copied from here okay so right now if we just save it then if we just refresh here there you can see every design is working properly the reason is we are saying here include admin dot css it means we are saying that whatever code we have in the css dot blade dot php we want it over here okay so after that we'll save the header section code so let me just cut the header section from here the header section ended uh let me just go down more header section ended over here here you can see the head header closing so control a so we just got the header section code so right now if we save then if we now refresh here there you can see there is the header section right now so let's go back again we'll see here at the end of include to first bracket single position admin dot header so right now we'll click on the admin folder then click new file and the file name is header dot lead dot php control s then save after that we paste the header section code here save it then if we now refresh here there you can see the header section code is back so let's do the same thing for the sidebar and the body part so let me just go to the index.blade.php and so here you can see nav id sidebar so the sidebar is started from here so i'll just cut it from here from this nav let me just go a little down and here you can see the nav ended over here so control x and uh, we are going to say here at the rate of okay but before that let me just show you here if we refresh there you can see there is no sidebar so let's go back and here we say at the rate of include to first bracket single quotation admin dot sidebar save it then we we'll create a file called sidebar dot let.php in the admin folder save then paste the code from the sidebar after that let's go back and this is the body session port so right now uh, what we do is that let me just cut the body section code and the body section started from here so let me just go down so the body section ended over here here you can see from here the footer section started so i'll just cut it from here control x and save it so right now if we just refresh over here there you can see the sidebar is back but there is no code for the body section so let's let me just go back here we are going to say at the end of include to file drag a single position admin dot body and here we click on the admin folder then click new file then we say here body dot blade dot php control s then save we'll paste the body session code over here then save it and let's do one more thing and that is here you can see the footer section code so we'll copy the footer section code and the skip code together so control a then we say here at the right of include admin dot footer so right now in the admin folder we create a file called footer so we right click on the admin we can click new file and we say here footer dot blade dot php control s then save so let me just paste the footer section code over here let's save it here then let's go back to our browser then refresh okay admin dot footer there's a error okay i forgot to give two single quotation over here let me just save it again then let me refresh here and there you go everything is perfect right now 
So right now what we can do is that we will add a logout option over here. So currently we are in the admin dashboard but there is no logout option. So for it what we do is that uh, let me just go to the header.grade.php in the admin folder. And let me just go over here you can see we are at the end you can see the logout option. So what I do is that okay let me just go to the uh, dashboard.blade.php and from here I am going to copy this Excel layout Control C then let's go back to the header section and stop this uh, anchor tag for the logout we just see here except layout opening and except layout closing so save it then refresh and there you can see we have the logout option here you can see the profile and the logout option and if you do not want to see the profile or logout option you only on the logout option you can do that as well uh, for it what you need to is that okay let me just go to the let me just go to the navigation menu.blade.php and right now if we just go down uh, a little bit more and here you can see we have a form over here form method post csrf something so if we just copy it control c and if we just paste it in the data section, instead of this, uh, we are going to paste the form code over here. Uh, this one, then save it. After that, if we refresh, there you can see we have the logout option. And if we click logout, it will log out the user. But I'll just give uh, this part, this one. I think this one looks better. So we'll save it. Then we'll refresh. And right now, if we just click logout, it will log out the user, I mean log out the admin. So in this tutorial, we integrate admin template in our project. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the future tutorials.